Hello and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Steven and today is Sunday, April 14th. All electric supercar specialist Automobili Perin Farina has made a new one of a kind hypercar. The boutique Italian automaker has unveiled the Battista Rivisario, one of the most expensive EVs on the planet. The Italian brand's first EV, the Battista Hyper GT, initially debuted as a concept EV at Monterey Car Week 2018. That was followed by the Anniversario, which sold for an estimated $2.9 million, and the Barchetta, which cost $4.78 million, making it the most expensive EV on the planet. Automobili Parin Farina shared the first images of the Battista Rivisario. This one-of-a-kind design sits atop a 120 kilowatt hour lithium-ion battery and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.79 seconds. The customer who commissioned the car calls it complete and total perfection that comes from following your heart and passion. Electric vehicles are taking over the rest of the world much faster than the United States. While there are a lot of headlines about EVs slowing down, it's the growth rate that's slowing down. The growth is still there and the global penetration rate is set to surpass 20% this year. EV sales represented 18% of total passenger vehicle sales in the world last year with China leading adoption, and North America is still a small market for EVs. The US lacks access to cheap EV models that are making the difference in China and Europe because of high tariffs. Those tariffs resulted in significant foreign investments to build EVs in the US, but they have left the US behind in EV adoption. Also, China and most European countries have little oil, so it makes sense for them to push EVs in order to reduce dependence on oil imports. Meanwhile, the US has ample oil production, so it has more resistance towards EVs. Tesla has decided to slash its full self-driving monthly subscription price in half to $99 a month. Tesla said that they would increase full self-driving prices as the system got better but has decided to reverse course. The price drop came after Tesla started to mandate FSD demo drives for all new deliveries and offered one month of free FSD trial to all existing owners in North America. Tesla's decision to sell a full self-driving package before it solved full self-driving has been a controversial decision. It has helped Tesla sell cars and encourage early adoption, but has led to multiple incidents involving crashes with distracted drivers. It seems Tesla is looking to increase FSD take rate at all costs right now as people come off the FSD trial. It hopes a significant number of people will go for it at $99. China has been heavily subsidizing its green tech sectors, with favorite BYD receiving at least $3.7 billion in direct government subsidies as part of the Chinese government's push to lead the world in EVs. Chinese EV companies have emerged as fierce competitors around the globe. BYD reported a net income of $4.16 billion, which is more than 80% rise in net profits from last year, and the company receives significantly more purchase premiums for electric cars in China compared to foreign companies producing locally, such as Tesla. The EU has launched its formal investigation into the Chinese EV industry as European companies are struggling to compete with the cheap, high-tech Chinese imports. Both the US and Europe have been tightening their rules on Chinese EVs being sold in their countries, with tariffs so high in the US that China has turned its focus on other areas, namely South America, Asia, and Europe. China says its automakers are winning because they make better products. Of course, even the investigation says that the rapid adoption of green tech in Europe is due in large part to cheap goods coming from China. European industries often struggle to compete with Chinese counterparts on price. However, without China's subsidized technology, products crucial for Germany's green transformation would become more expensive and scarce. A 605 megawatt project in Germany has claimed the title of Europe's largest solar farm. The Witsnitz Solar Farm has been continuously online since March. The farm will feature more than 1.1 million modules after it installs a further 45 megawatts of power and connects that to the grid this summer. It reached an agreement with Shell Energy Europe to buy around 600 megawatts of clean energy. It sits on over 500 hectares of former coal mine and will produce enough clean electricity to power around 200,000 households. Cycle paths have been created around Witsnit Solar Farm with 10 hectares being freed up for agri-voltaics. In today's community comment found on YouTube, somebody mentioned that solar energy is often wasted when production exceeds demand and there's nowhere to store it. Well, EVs can act as a kind of battery bank for your house since they can store excess energy. 
a mobile power generator might become a growing use case for EVs like we have seen implemented in disaster zones. Thank you for watching Quick Charge by Electric. I'm Steven and have a great day.